Alright, welcome. Today it is January 15th. This is the last day for upland bird hunting. So David and I'm here to do some coyote hunting, so let's see if we get one. It is cold. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> These things are an essential. These binoculars, or just binoculars in general, have become one of my essentials when I'm out hunting. I don't care what I'm hunting, the binoculars are always with me. That being said, this is one of the scenarios where I hate glassing because the sun is facing directly towards me, so when I glass, you get that glare, and sometimes you just accidentally look into the sun. But you guys look. It's just the valley. I'm kind of just following some coyote tracks. I'm not sure where David went. David was David is on top of me. He's just bird hunting, I'm coyote hunting. So I'm slowly just scanning. So if I see a coyote, it's probably gonna be spontaneous. Yeah. I thought that was a coyote for a second. See, that's why you good to have this. Confirm it. Back to using the distress call. What's up? Alright, so David is already at the car, so time to head back. Jeez, that took an eternity. Hi, back to the road. David's waiting for me at the car. So, just trying to burn over as fast as I can. Time to try another spot. Alright, we're gonna find another spot. Let's see if we can call him Coyote. Alright, here's the deal guys. So David and I, we found a perfect spot. It's just absolutely gorgeous to call a coyote. Being the cool coyote hunters we are, we don't have a legit call, so we rely on our phones. We go to a YouTube video and we just use that distress call. We got to the spot, we got set up. Turns out we, our phones don't even have service, so we can't even use a coyote call on, the, on YouTube. I hope a coyote shows up. Dude, I feel like there's a coyote just in that, those trees. Yeah. Over. Just look at this, you can see that. We're behind a rock too. Behind us over here. Is that not perfect coyote habitat or what? David and I are just scouting new areas right now. We just came through a very promising piece of BLM mixed with state land. Probably the best looking terrain we've, we've scouted all year long, so far at least. There's another big portion up this way. Go this way, goes back up to where we were earlier this morning. So we are still debating on where to go. Just kind of driving around. Because hiking in the snow and not knowing what you're doing completely is pretty brutal, physically and mentally. So. Seen some coyotes along the highway at the road, but they're just on private property. They, they seem to know what's private and what's public, that's for sure.
after all day, we finally found pheasants. Look, a deer trap. This is like perfect weather, man. This is like my ideal type of hunting weather. Cloudy, overcast, and damn, no allergies. This is like prime time. Let's go kill a pheasant and a coyote. Tastes like rubber. not the type of bone I'm looking for. So David and I would technically like to just stay on this side. But if you can see right there, there's a fence line right here. And on that side, it's private property, but you can hunt it with written permission, which we don't. So this side is state land, so we're gonna cross the creek. That's when this onyx map comes in handy. So, you see that little sign right there? Basically says, from Fish and Wildlife, and you respect this property over here. Not that you wouldn't respect the same over here, but because this is a land holder. I took a picture to get his phone number, so in future reference, if we ever want to hunt this area, we can do so legally. For now, we're stuck on this side. You guys can see the difference of property. That's all white, this is all dirt. Our original plan to come down here was to walk a fence line for early shedders to find sheds. God, over here, there's not even a fence line. So that's why you gotta know which is private and which is public. A lot of deer tracks though. Let's take a look at this. That's some crazy hunting. I'm in t-shirts. That's when you know you're working on sweat. It's like 42 degrees. Hiking with this thing is no joke. Also, take a look at my shirt. This shirt was sent to me by Nathan Webner from Short Action Precision. He sent me a bunch of stuff. Just want to give him a thanks for doing that. He's the first person ever to do that. And so, thank you, Nathan, if you're watching. Thank you. If you guys don't know who he is, go check him out. He's a long range precision shooter. And uh, he makes some, some gadgets for real rifle and hunting and long range shooting, stuff like that. So if you're interested, go check him out. Links to his Instagram and his, and his website will be left in the description below. Alright, this is basically dark now. Apologize if there's wind, but David and I try to make a loop around the lake to catch these coyotes when they're still howling. It took a little too long, but I get to enjoy beautiful sunset. Call it a day. Didn't get to shoot anything, but we saw and heard everything we wanted to shoot. Time to head off home and plan for another trip next time. Until then, thanks for watching guys.